Hi guys, so let's look at how to calculate the power of a number using recursion. So power of a number will be any number x which is raised to a number n. How do I find the power of this number using recursion? So let's take a look at n is equal to 5. How do we solve this? So this is the value equal to x raised to 5. Now how do I break down this into smaller problems? I can write x raised to 5 as x multiplied by x raised to 4. This x raised to 4 can be written as x multiplied by x multiplied by x raised to 3. Now when you are calculating this x raised to 5, I can write this as power of x comma 5 and I can replace this x raised to x into x raised to 4 as x into power of x comma 4. Now if I am replacing this into this equation I will be writing it as x into x raised to 4 which is power of x comma 4. Now, if I am going to furthermore disintegrate this, this can be written as x into power of x raised to 4 can be written as x into power of x comma 3. Now, this can also be written as x into x into power of x comma 3 is x into power of x comma 3. This can be further written as x asterisk x asterisk x asterisk power of x comma 2 is x asterisk power of x comma 1. We are not going to stop here. We again write it as the same multiplied by power of x comma 1 can be written as x multiplied by power of x comma 0. For this we have a definite answer. Power of x comma 0 is equal to 1. Any number raised to uh, any number raised to 0 is equal to uh, 1. When you multiply all of these also you will end up getting the uh, power of x raised to 5. So this is how I will be writing the recursive part. We know there is a going to be a calculation. So like our factorial program, we will be returning. If you are writing a function called power, it is taking two values x and the value of n. You can easily write that if n is equal to equal to 0, you can return 1. Else, you go ahead and return x multiplied by the, uh, the recursive call of power into x comma n minus 1. And since these are returning two integer values, the return type is integer. This is all that there is to it. Now let's see this in the code part. Now I need uh, two variables. One is the base and the power. I'll be asking the user for the value of the base and the power. So slash n, enter base and power. So uh, it will be scanf percentage d percentage d ampers and base and ampers and power. So what I intend to find is uh, I want to find some value result. So let's put here um, uh, a result. So the result should be a function call result is equal to a function call let's say exponential EXPO of the base and the power. 
and I'll go ahead and print F in the format of uh, percentage D and that capo sign to show it is raised. So percentage D raised percentage D is equal to percentage D. So the first one is the base, the second variable is the power and the third variable is the result. Okay, so going ahead and writing our uh, function. So EXPO will take two variables, uh, the, it is passed so I will take one as X and one as N. So it is like X raised to N. I will write the return type later. So our first condition to check is if n equals to 0, if the power is equal to 0, we know the value is 1. So just return 1. You can write result is equal to 1 and return 1 also, uh, return result no problem. I am just going on directly writing return 1. Else I want to return, I don't want a condition, else return x into the power of so it's x into exponential of x comma n minus 1 so i'll run the program once i have oh yes i forgot so yeah, so return 1 is an integer and x into expo of x minus 1 is also going to be an integer. So my return type is going to be int. I'll stop it. I'll run once again. Enter base and power, let's say uh, 5 space 2 and 5 raised to 2 is 25. Any other value you can run for uh, uh, 3 raised to 3. It will print 3 raised to 3 is 27. Thank you.